Authorities are cracking down on illegal tobacco syndicates, implementing new legislation for all imports starting next month. Sky News reporter Stella Todorovic was taken on a tour of the facility. At first glance, Orson looks just like any other three-year-old dog bursting with energy. Have you got it? Strong. Have you got it? Yeah. You gotta let it go. Yeah. But this Labrador is no normal pet. He spends his days detecting tobacco for the Australian Border Force. Good boy. Authorities don't solely rely on Orson and his canine crew. There are many detection methods at this gateway. Sky News has been granted access to Australia's busiest mailroom. This particular facility in Western Sydney processes around 80% of the country's mail. That's around a million articles a week. This border protection officer, will identify only as Pete, finds various types of narcotics, ice pipes, shock devices and firearms hidden in parcels on a daily basis. But his most common seizure is tobacco. In a day we would see literally thousands. One of the big concerns for authorities is the link between tobacco and organised crime. Illegal syndicates are set up to avoid paying duties and increase profits. The criminal enterprise costing Australia millions in revenue. New legislation aims to crack down on these drug rings. Tobacco will become a prohibited import come 1st of July. So currently tobacco is a revenue good, which therefore means on its importation, people can choose to pay the duty and the taxes and receive that product. But from 1st of July, they won't be able to collect that item. If it arrives here through the mail stream, it will be seized and destroyed. So once we detect it here, we have our own tobacco task force, which will pass the information on to, and they'll do the investigations and catch those people who bring the stuff in. The new legislation comes into effect July 1st. Stella Todorovic, Sky News in Sydney.